In America today, one in six people, including hardworking men and women, suburban families, and young children are struggling with hunger. Tonight, over 50 million Americans won't have enough food to eat by day's end. The face of hunger in America is not the homeless guy. Turns out the face of hunger in America is a single mom. It's grandparents raising babies. It's the elderly. It's the infirm. So they are working two jobs. They're living on the edge, and they're trying to feed their families. But they have to choose between paying the mortgage or feeding their families. I do have children that will come into school some days, and for whatever reason, they didn't eat breakfast. A child simply cannot focus if they are hungry. These kids, they're not able to get a subsidized lunch. And they rush to school Monday morning to get breakfast. Poverty and hunger is something people are ashamed of. No one wants to admit that. Hunger in America is something that's so internal, so behind closed doors, that you really can't put a face on it. People today are eating a lot of food. You can get a lot more bags of potato chips than you can a bag of potatoes. You can get a lot more soda versus a gallon of milk. That food isn't really getting into the cells. It isn't really nourishing them at all. Children are eating a lot of empty calories because that food is cheaper to purchase. The knowledge of what food is healthy and what isn't, and what's real food, like the fruit, the vegetables, you know, the grains like lentils and quinoa and beans and rice, what's, that's real food. Well, the fact is that the United States still has a huge surplus of food, even after we provide food to people all over the world. So why is there any hungry Americans? The face of hunger in America is all too real. It doesn't matter if you live in an urban, suburban, or rural setting. Hunger has no boundaries. The truth is, no one in America should go hungry. No one.